Brian May once admitted he felt the Queen may not have been impressed with his Buckingham Palace rooftop tribute 20 years ago. But despite feeling an apparent snub the band co-founder still secured a top spot in this weekend's platinum performance with his musical mates to mark the Queen's 70-year reign. In a resurfaced interview, lead guitarist May cast his mind back to his unexpected rooftop appearance for the Golden Jubilee concert in June 2002. And although the event offered one of the lasting images of the celebrations, May said he wasn't sure if Her Majesty enjoyed her performance, claiming he went away thinking the monarch wasn't impressed. Speaking to the One Show hosts Alex Jones and Rylan Clark Neal, he explained, We performed, on Her Majesty's roof. I don't know if she was that impressed at the time. Recalling the moment, he continued, It still gives me chills, that little rush because the adrenaline was insane and I thought to myself, I am never going to be afraid of anything again. Despite his incredible performing career May admitted the palace performance had him in pure terror not to make a fool of myself he added, people say, were you scared of falling off? No, I was scared of being the guy who I fit up on top of Buckingham Palace with a billion people watching. It was totally live and totally dangerous. And the platinum performance continued the thrill for music lovers as May appeared under the watchful gaze of the Queen Victoria Memorial Monument, elevated on a giant hydraulic platform. May told Sky News ahead of the event, it will be suitably epic for this epic event. Last night's party at the palace, which the Queen did not attend, featured appearances from Alicia Keys, Nile Rodgers, and Andrea Bocelli. The monarch did however appear in a pre-recorded a two-and-a-half-minute comedy segment in which she offered tea to Paddington, and showed him a marmalade sandwich she keeps in her handbag. In the short footage, the Queen and Paddington tapped their teacups to the beat of Queen's We Will Rock You as the Regally-themed band, with their U.S. singer Adam Lambert, began performing the hit, accompanied by 34 Royal Marine drummers, 